What's up guys? Crypto Keith here and I am in Canada right now. We are very close to the Swell Conference going on right now um, that is taking off and getting Ripple uh, some, some uh, connections and laying some groundwork and getting their project out there to the industry and the people that matter and the people that need to know about it and that will be working with Ripple. So there's lots of bankers, leaders of the Federal Reserve, um, the guy who created the World Wide Web. Amazing people are going to be speaking there. This is a very, very big deal for blockchain and cryptocurrency and this helps take it to the next level and get it into the mainstream where we need it so that we can change people's opinion about blockchain and what it can do. So this is one sector of the blockchain that is going, one sector of society that the blockchain is going to disrupt and change drastically. And I can't wait for the next one. We'll be sharing them all with you. And this is what I live for. This is what I get excited for when the blockchain makes its way into the mainstream, into these sectors and everybody has to acknowledge it so stay tuned till the end and check out some of the links down below in the description we have the link to the live stream of the conference and cool things like that so check it out so, so speaking, speaking about, about ripple, ripple their, their conference starts today their there's a swall conference in, in toronto, toronto. And you can go to the Ripple website to see who's attending and uh, what they're speaking about. Um, I would have liked to go to this, concert, this conference, but it was already closed registration by the time I was looking into it. I am very close to Toronto myself, so it would have been nice to go down there and maybe speak to some people there which still can be done if uh, if I was a bit closer I would go to where the conference is and try to catch some people coming out of it and speak to them we see here Ripple is number three on coin market cap leading all coins uh, and price increase in the past 24 hours it's rise seven percent it's currently at around 20.27 or sorry it's right now it's 0.285 percent so it's rise a bit since then since this article and it talks about how Today's opening of Swell Conference that the FinTech startup is hosting in Toronto. Many investors believe Ripple will make a major announcement at the conference, leading them to increase their holdings in anticipation of the conference. The Ripple price is now trading at 0.28, giving Ripple XRP a market cap of 10.5 million billion. And I bought up some Ripple and I'm holding for this con conference as well. Um, but I don't know for sure if it's a big announcement or not, but there's definitely some big talk going on at this conference and some, some uh, big collaborations. You see Swell by Ripple, uh, and then Cebos is a exhibition um, trade show, and they deal with the banking industry as well. So it was a good move for Ripple to have their conference at the same time because a lot of uh, banking industry leaders are going to be in town anyways for this conference, and Swell will have a booth at the CBOS conference as well.
In this uh, post talks about how Ripple's taking over Canada. They've trialed and tested and actively used at some point by all of Canadian's big five banks, including several smaller banks. Big banks are Royal Bank of Canada, Toronto Dominion Banks, Bank of Nova Scotia, Bank of Montreal, Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce. And I use this bank here, so that's exciting to hear my bank is uh, looking at the technology. The world's 20 strongest 100 billion asset banks with Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce uh, RBC has undergone cross-border trials, part of R3 test with Ripple, joins the steering community, officially adopted Ripple settlement, and publicly discussed its efforts. TD Bank is trialing and testing Ripple. Bank of Nova Scotia has undergone cross-border trials. Bank of Montreal has undergone cross-border trials and officially adopted the Ripple Settlement. Canadian Imperial Bank has undergone cross-border trials. And they uh, made an announcement the other day saying they have over a hundred big companies signed on. So this is all good news for the price. And here's I found a, a live stream for the Swell event because they are going to be having live streams if you could not attend and not make it. So this one starts in 52 minutes. And um, so this is why the price hit today 0.28. And it was sitting at 0.26 the past few days. And before that, it was around... 0.24, so you could have picked it up and anticipated this conference for a long time. This is uh, the CBO's page speaking about Ripple's um, booth at their show. Then we have this article on Ripple.com speaking about their attendance at the CBO's conference or the CBO's exhibit. While similar attempts might fall short for some startups, what could set Ripple's event apart from SIBO's is its stakeholder buying. Keynoting the three-day conference in October is none other than the former chairman of the U.S. Federal Reserve System. And the inventor of the World Wide Web is going to be speaking at this conference, the SWAP conference. Live from SIBO's Bankers Talk Ripple. So I wanted to play just a short snippet of one of these videos. So maybe I'll start with the three core elements of our strategy at CBC. Number one is a focus on the customers. So we're pivoting from selling products to really understanding what the needs of the client are. So this is CIBC, one of the main banks in Canada. Focus on delivering those. Number two is simplifying our bank, so we're looking at challenging processes within, within CIBC and really trying to make it easier for our clients to do business with us. And then number three is really innovating for the future, being very focused on what's relevant to our customers. So specific to payments, when we survey our customers, what they're telling us is why can't delivery of payments be as fast as delivery of an email? And there you have it. That's where Ripple comes in. And that is why Ripple's price is going to be going up. And it's, it's going to be a good long-term investment for anyone who wants to hold it. Um, Ripple has never really been a short-term investment. Uh, they do have a lot of coins out there, which makes it harder for it to have price rises and spikes and dips. So it's not very volatile, but it is a good long-term investment. And anybody who's into crypto should have at least some Ripple some ripple in their portfolio and they will benefit from it massively. I think ripples went up a hundred times or more since I bought it um, over a year ago. And, but even then I did not have a, a big amount of money in it because they were so cheap when I bought them. 
So, so I, I, I could buy something like 10,000 Ripple for a couple dollars. And so if that went up 10 times, that you're still not seeing very much. Say you had $5 worth of Ripple, you only have $50 worth now. Uh, so it's good to have a couple hundred dollars in these coins, and that way when they do go up in value, you are seeing a nice chunk of returns. And so right now I have 1,000 Ripple on one exchange, that would be $250. And on another exchange I have $100 worth, 250 Ripple. So I have about 300, I'd say I have about $400 of Ripple right now. And so when that, and if that rises, I will see uh, good returns. So that's Ripple. It is doing a lot right now. It has offices set up all around the world that it's uh, doing openings of. They um, offer cross-border payments that can happen in seconds. And this is a highly demanded uh, service right now and you can see that with all the banks jumping on board and um, accepting this technology with open arms and this is a very good sign for, for cryptocurrency and for blockchain in general because it gives it a real use case and it kind of takes away some of that negative stigma that we got in the early days of blockchain. This is Crypto Keith, and off, off to the markets. We'll see you next time. Hit the bell, the like, and uh, subscribe to our channel. I'm Crypto Keith, and I'm out.